Welcome, Mustang family. As we begin this new school year virtually, we would like to welcome our returning students to another year as we continue to build our community. With that being said, please join me in welcoming our class of 2024. Though we are virtual, we hope to build bonds and empower the relationships already created. In today's prayer service, we hope to acknowledge our wonderful differences and embrace diversity, equity, and inclusion. In today's reading, we are reminded that there is always someone there for you. You are never alone. Our faculty, staff, friends, and classmates are here to support you whenever we may need. Please join me in taking a moment of silence as we begin our prayer service. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Now the body is not a single part, but many. If a foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it does not for this reason belong any less to the body. Or if a ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it does not for this reason belong any less to the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? If the whole body were hearing, where would the sense of smell be? But as it is, God placed the parts, each one of them, in the body as he intended. If they were all one part, where would the body be? But as it is, there are many parts, yet one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I do not need you, nor again the head to the feet, I do not need you. Indeed, the parts of the body that seem to be weaker are all the more necessary. And those parts of the body that we consider less honorable, we surround with greater honor. And our less presentable parts are treated with greater propriety whereas our more presentable parts do not need this. But God has so constructed the body as to give greater honor to a part that it is without it, so that there may be no division in the body, but that the parts may have the same concern for one another. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. If one part is honored, all the parts share its joy. The word of the Lord. And the first shall be last And our eyes are open We'll hear like never before We'll speak in new ways and we'll see God's face in places we'd never known. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes. Hello everybody, I'm Stephen Murphy. I am the president of Cristo Rey de La Salle East Bay High School and I've been blessed, I've been asked to read the gospel uh, for this particular prayer service. Uh, a reading from the gospel according to Matthew. 
After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came forward toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello and greetings from my home in Napa. I'm Brother Donald and I'm called by the brothers, the brother visitor of our district of San Francisco, New Orleans. I'm called the brother visitor because one of my responsibilities is to visit our schools and communities. Not easy during these days of quarantine. We are a large district made up of 23 schools and serving more than 15,000 students. So you are indeed members of a large Lasallian family with many parts and many gifts. In fact, Cristo Rey de La Salle is the newest school in our district, and I thank you for adding your unique talents to our district family. As a district, we try to provide ways for our students to connect and support each other, even though we cover eight states from Washington in the north to Louisiana in the south. During these difficult times, it's not easy to connect with others in such a large area. And it is during these challenging times that we need so much to be able to support each other and bring our gifts and talents to each other. This COVID time, which has caused us to quarantine, is so difficult because we want to be there for each other, to show our support and care for each other. And this time of social unrest also makes us want to be with each other, to lift each other up, as Jesus did Peter in the reading from Matthew that we listened to. But as difficult as it is, lifting each other up is what Jesus calls us to do, to be there for each other. It is so challenging as Lasallians to believe in embracing our inclusive community when we are not uh, able, because of social distancing, to be with each other. How can we wear a mask and provide a smile for each other at the same time? But Jesus calls us to have faith. He tells us he's with us, and that is what we must count on as we move through the difficulties that are with us today. Sometimes it's easy to say what we should do, but now we're all asking not simply what, but how we can do it. I think one way of answering the question of how is to begin with what St. Paul said in his letter to the Corinthians. He emphasized that we are not all exactly the same. Each of us has many and different gifts and talents. I think we should be proud of the talents that God has given us and then ask how can we use those talents to lift each other up, to support each other, and to include each other. In this day, almost all of us have cell phones, and we're involved in various forms of social media. 
Let's use our gifts to reach out to people and let them know we are there for them. I know that thanks to texting and social media, you're getting lots of support from your close friends. I challenge you, however, make use of your power to impact others in a positive way. Stretch yourself to thank someone or to let them know that you're thinking of them and holding them up in your prayers. You can drop a quick email or a text to last year's work supervisor to let them know that you are grateful for what they have taught you and that you miss being at work. If you are new to Cristo Rey de la Salle, you can share your experience of your new school with a friend or family member. Reach out to a former coach or teacher to let them know how they impacted you and that, thanks to them, you have more resiliency and life skills to face today's challenges. Call or, or FaceTime with a relative who is shut in or a neighbor who might just need a bit of human contact. Tell them you're thinking of them. Don't sell yourself short. Don't underestimate the power you possess to light up someone's world and someone's day. You're made in God's image. You have a responsibility as part of this Lasallian community to let that, that light shine in this COVID darkness. Please know that you are certainly in my thoughts and prayers. Remember that Jesus indeed lives in our hearts and is always there for us. Jesus will always be there to lift us out of difficulties and turbulent times, but we, we must ask for his help as Peter did. In the end, Peter did have faith in Jesus, and that is what saved him. Take care, and know that when all of this passes, I will be back to be with you in person, and thank you for being the wonderful people that you are. Goodbye, God bless you, and may Jesus live in our hearts forever. As an inclusive faith community, let us with one heart and mind bring forth our prayers to the Lord. Let us lay our requests before him, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, that we may stay connected during these difficult times and the kind of courage to continue our studies, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families who have lost their jobs and homes due to COVID, financial difficulty, and other hardships, may all people find heavens of peace, love, and community during this unprecedented time, we pray to the Lord. For our nation and government to have the courage to make the important decisions surrounding economic equity, reparations, and justice for those who have been ignored or lost their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grieving, those who have been affected by COVID-19, the Lebanon explosion, and the wildfires currently happening in California, may they find solace and comfort in the arms of the Lord. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those brave enough to put their lives at risk, such as firefighters, EMTs, doctors and nurses, that God continues to accompany them in their vocations and so that they can continue to keep us safe and healthy. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For change in the world and end in violence and perpetrated by harsh words, deadly weapons or cold indifferences, May we begin the intentional work to include all peoples, ethnicities, and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today, we are reminded that we are all one body. Cristo Rey de la Salle, East Bay High School. The reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians reminds us of our close-knit community. We are growing and expanding. We were asked to open our eyes and ears to sense what's truly around us. 
the value of the collective individuals. In the gospel, Peter lost faith and doubted himself. During these difficult times, we find ourselves doing the same. Jesus showed Peter comfort by holding out his hand. Our teachers, parents, staff, friends, and coaches are always there to support us along the way. And we ask God to do the same. Dear Lord, today we ask you to take care of each and every one of us as we start our new school year. Although we may be filled with uncertainty and doubt, remind us that we are all in this together. And if someone falls, we'll be there to catch them. Amen.